we, are, we take such pride in our land. It's not dirt, it's not grass, it's, it's, it's us, it's our soul and our passion. So when you have to protect that, you protect it with everything you've got. I literally feel that the path of the pipeline itself will have a devastating effect on our Sandhills ground forever. You know, there's right and there's wrong and this is wrong. It's, it's wrong for our state. It, you know, it's putting our water at risk and, and why? They're coming across our sand hills and our aquifer because it's going to save them a bunch of money. It's like a big poisonous snake to me, you know, and eventually it's going to bite us. It is. My main concern with the Trans-Canada oil pipeline is the contamination of our groundwater because that's the ground, that's the water I drink. No amount of oil is worth risking my health. The other thing is the, the process with TransCanada themselves and, and how they try and manipulate people. And, I mean, they're master manipulators. As they say, yeah, you better sign up now because if we have to take you in a domain, you're gonna, you're gonna lose a bunch of money here. And well, I said, fine, you know. I said, money's not, that's not what I'm worried about here. I'm so proud of Nebraskans and what they're willing to step up to say and to do to fight something that they feel is, is grievously wrong for our state.